A new tool is arriving in the Microsoft 365 Copilot toolbox. Knowledge Agent in SharePoint promises to help you understand, organize, and enrich your SharePoint data, and it's now available in public preview. In this video, I'm going to look at how to turn it on, overview what it could do, test a couple of its capabilities, and consider why this, alongside another changed feature, might be one of the biggest improvements we've seen for Microsoft 365 Copilot since its launch in 2023. But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Nick. I help smaller businesses achieve more using AI, and I specialize in Microsoft 365 Copilot and the AI tools that are part of Microsoft's platform. If what you see in this video is useful to you, it'd be great if you could give it a like, drop a comment below letting me know what helped you the most, and consider subscribing so you can see more like this in the future. And if you need more direct help with your organization's Copilot adoption or another AI project, consider reaching out to learn how I can help. Information on this is down in the description. Knowledge Agent is a new feature that has arrived in public preview for Microsoft 365 Copilot users on sites or tenants where the preview has been activated. As with all previews, the features we see are not guaranteed, so things may well change. The promise of Knowledge Agent is to act as a general helper across your SharePoint site, helping you to optimize it if you're in a role where that would be your need, or to simply use it better or more intelligently. It can do basic things we've seen a lot of, like summarizing content, but also highly specific management or user-focused work, like helping you identify stale content on your site or creating customized views of your document libraries. In terms of rolling out this preview, Microsoft is approaching in this in a really admin friendly way by allowing us to purposefully turn on the feature either tenant wide or with specific excluded sites no one by default here though there may be reasons for that which might become clear however if you want to try it you're going to need to open a powershell window as these options are not available through the sharepoint admin gui to get started, navigate to this page. A link is down in the description. You'll need to make sure you have the latest version of the SharePoint Admin PowerShell module. You'll connect your tenant with a suitably privileged account. And depending on what you want to do, either activate for all, activate for all but some, or a feature to activate for individual sites is announced to be rolling out later, you'll follow the PowerShell examples Microsoft has usefully included. After doing this, I left my tenant overnight before seeing that the new features had appeared. So I can confidently say that activation takes more than two minutes and less than 10 hours. If you have an activation story that offers a little more insight into your experience of this, then please start the conversation down in the comments. As a first look of this feature, you'll see that access to Knowledge Agent effectively replaces the default site-wide SharePoint agent that we've had on all sites since the arrival of SharePoint agents some time ago. In fact, I think the starter prompts in this chat pane are very similar, if not exactly the same. However, we have an extra little button floating on the screen, which gives us contextual knowledge agent options depending on where on the site we are. For example, on this page, I can improve the site or create a page. But in a document library, I see organize this library, set up rules and create a new view. Interestingly, in a list, the button simply doesn't appear. Lists always seem to be a bit neglected by new AI features. Now, I want to call out this button and the branding. In the last couple of weeks, we've seen Copilot Chat roll out to all the main Microsoft 365 apps, yet here, Copilot is nowhere in sight. The Agents button that used to be a Copilot logo, at least I think it did, is now just an Agents logo, and everything's branded SharePoint. Yet this is part of Microsoft 365 Copilot. The inconsistency here is striking, and frankly, every user who's been introduced to Copilot and its logo would identify that floating button better if it just carried the Copilot logo. I hope this gets updated so that there's a clearer AI product narrative from Microsoft that we can thread through all of these different Microsoft 365 experiences and apps. If we look at some of the basic capabilities here on a SharePoint page, I can quickly get a summary or I can seek to improve the content. I can find what's out of date. I can fill contact gaps or I can find links that aren't working. The types of things that you might want to do easily when you're managing a SharePoint site. In a document library, I can ask questions. I can select a group of files and scope down to those. 
For those who have been using Microsoft 365 Copilot for any AI for some time, this is pretty pedestrian stuff. But I do get some new SharePoint library focused capabilities in that I can create rules with natural language and I can even create new views. So this is very much about changing the user experience of the library itself. However, there is one new feature I want to focus in on that I believe is moving us towards something that will radically boost the capability, not just of SharePoint, but of Copilot and AI across Microsoft 365. And that's the Organize This Library feature. This new feature is designed to help you organize your files by creating AI-generated metadata about them with consistent library-level columns, but file-by-file -file analysis. This is just a window to the SharePoint autofill column feature I've looked at a couple of times on this channel, where by combining a custom column, an AI prompt using GPT-4 and automated processing, we can quickly extract the most useful or relevant information from files and present it in a structured tabular fashion directly in the document library. If we step back to look at the broader relevance of this for a moment, this type of use of AI steps into a gap that exists in many organisations and makes information management a big problem for many users. Actually consistently implementing information management best practices is really hard, but a huge amount of time gets wasted looking for information. Autofill columns are the perfect solution to this, using AI in the capacity it works best to do automated busy work that humans don't want to do or are too busy to do, and to do it consistently. If the prompt you use is fairly simple, because the request is completely grounded on the file content, it's a use case where serious errors are less likely to arise as well. But you might be watching this and be thinking, well, Nick, that's all well and good, but you've told us before that Copilot doesn't care about SharePoint metadata, so why is this useful? Well, in all the fanfare about Knowledge Agent, Microsoft hid the most important announcement which pulls together these two different threads of its AI story in just one line. Starting next month, Copilot and agents will be able to reason over this data, enabling them to better distinguish between similar documents, driving higher quality answers. This is absolutely huge because it means that organizations that have spent their time following Microsoft's best practices in terms of SharePoint data management are about to take a huge W when it comes to the efficacy of Microsoft 365 Copilot in their organizations. And for those who haven't, there's now a new reason to start using tools like Knowledge Agent to better organize content in SharePoint, as it won't just benefit your human workers, but your digital ones too. Is this perfect? No, and it's a preview, so we shouldn't expect it to be. There are technical limitations in SharePoint Autofill that make them good for some things, but weaker for organization-wide data management. I cannot, for example, recognize content types, site columns, or other similar broader information management tools in the scope of Autofill columns. There's also a cost that I don't think is covered by the Microsoft 365 Copilot license of the user who sets them up in Knowledge Agent. You'll be paying half a penny per page processed. There are also limitations of the Knowledge Agent organized like feature. From early testing, it appears that it might take 20 files into account when building its suggested columns. This makes sense as it aligns with the general agent source limit in SharePoint, and it seems to prioritize simple fields like text entry over building something like a choice list. I'm not sure it can do this. For library-wide consistency, text fields are the worst option. So it'd be nice if it took a longer look at all the data and perhaps suggested some other options. This may be a limit set by my test cases or by the tool. It will need more testing to confirm. The reality is that I've been waiting for something like this to arrive since the early days of Microsoft saying a prerequisite for Copilot was to get your data estate in order. The big barrier for most users is this problem with just not being able to find stuff. If Copilot can see too little, that's as big a problem as being able to see too much. And it's fair to say that for all the value Microsoft 365 Copilot delivers, and I believe that for most organizations it delivers far more than it costs, there's a level to which contextual understanding of each business was promised where the reality just hasn't lived up to the hype. 
In demos, the implication was that Copilot would just surface the right thing based on relevance and contextual understanding. But I speak with users every week and I see posts on social media where people are frustrated that Copilot finds it hard to get what they are looking for. Some of this is about user training. But for a product that's supposed to eliminate the need for human busy work, just waiting for us all to perfect optimized prompting, like we've been waiting for users of SharePoint to perfect optimized searching for two decades, doesn't seem like the right solution. For all the technical gaps that still do exist with this new Organize This Library feature in Knowledge Agent, it's the first big step into the direction of Microsoft saying, you know what? We're going to take this worry off your hands. And for all organizations, this is a big deal, as increasingly the barrier to success with AI isn't that the models aren't smart enough, it's that our orchestration tools or our own prompting aren't good enough to get the model the necessary context to be successful. Knowledge Agent looks like a positive on a number of fronts, but the combination of Organize This Library alongside Copilot's new ability to see SharePoint metadata might be the first thing I've described as a potential game changer for Microsoft's position in the AI race so far this year. What do you think? Are you excited by this change? How do you see yourself using Knowledge Agent? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.